Hi guys, it's me, Jackie. I know, we haven't seen each other. We've talked about this. Um, it's getting long, it is, but that's all right. We can share things, we're learning things about each other we never knew, like how annoying our spouses or significant others are and uh, how most of us can't homeschool. But I've got something you can learn. At least I can share something with you anyway. But they asked me to do my top four picks of Adirondack Winery wine. Now, anybody that's done a tasting with me or had any conversation with me knows I'm a dry red drinker. The drier, the better. Tinder dry, love it. Absolutely love a dry red wine. However, summertime comes and your girlfriend over here becomes a fruit house day. That's right, like the sweet in the summer. So my favorite of our fruit infused that I like in the summer is Orchard Blossom. Now, Orchard Blossom is a Cayuga. Okay, Cayuga is, is a nice, sweet Finger Lakes white wine. Cayuga is a nice, smooth, easy white, white wine. And then the, the green apple that's infused to it is just amazing. It makes it really snappy. I also like it because during barbecue season, what goes better with barbecue than apple? Let's see, see where I was going with that? But it is really nice. It just goes down really nice and refreshing. It doesn't feel like I've had a, a sugar cube in my mouth. I really do enjoy that. And I'm not gonna pour that out. Okay, now this one could be my second ultimate favorite of all time. I love, 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 love this one. This is our Cap Franc Rosé. Rosés can be a little weird. Rosés can be super sweet. And they can also be so dusty dry that you don't even pick up any of the fun in it, you know? And as far as I'm concerned, the fun in a Cap Franc Rosé is that little bit of wild strawberry. It's not enough to be sweet or, you know, be, taste like a strawberry wine, but it's just got a nice, nice balanced fruit to it. it it's just a beautifully clean wine. I really do like this one. All right, so now we're getting into the big guns. These are two of my favorites. I do love these guys. So, this pick for me, the Cabernet Sauvignon. Cab Sav is a great go-to wine. It's a nice big wine. It's an approachable wine. You don't have to be a sommelier to appreciate a good Cab Sav. But the Cabernet Sauvignon uh, has nice notes to it. It has a little bit of cherry, which you can smell right off the bat. It's got a nice earthiness to it too. And that's what makes it really a nice balanced wine. Very good with steak. Now we're gonna go to my number one favorite. This really is, I, I just love this wine. And I, in the beginning, I had to uh, warm up to it. So Stargazer, this is the 100% Lemberger. It is a nice spicy wine. It's not really fruit forward like a lot of our other wines where you'll get that cherry or you'll get that raspberry or even dark plums and you know uh, berries in there. This one has a lot less of that, a little bit more in the way of spiciness to it. It's got a nice medium body color. It's right off the top, I pick up a little clove. A little bit like our Baco Noir as well with that lightness to it. It's a little heavier, but not much. Yeah, that's my number one pick, the Stargazer. And like I say, followed by the Cap Sav, the Cabernet Franc Rosé, and the Orchard Blossom. So now you've got my top four picks. Get your own wine, see what your top four are.